Hello friends, with this video I would like to start a short series looking at the untold histories of colonialism and how it has affected modern society. Let us try to examine history from a different angle. In this episode I will speak about the direct result of colonialism, racism. What narrative do we need? The history of winners and fairy tale happy endings? Or the real story, instructive, like medical therapy, showing the mistakes of the past so as not to make the same mistakes in the future? Over the past 20 years, racism in Britain has increased, education has declined, the crime rate in London, 33% of crimes committed, representatives of the African Caribbean community. Not as high as the media lets us believe. The emergence of racism in the world is very closely connected with the history of slavery as an early form of colonialism, hence the very concept of differences of races and equalities between them. In the literal sense, this implies that at a certain stage in history, a large number of peoples around the world find themselves under the rule of European states, and more precisely, royal and aristocratic families. Most likely, people did not invent racism on purpose, but as a result of subsequent manipulations. For Americans of the 17th to 19th centuries, racism issues were inevitable. It arose between African Caribbeans, the indigenous population, and the new settlers. When they clashed with each other, and when differences were found, which led to the subsequent hostility from exploitation by others, the British became slave traders and slaveholders, not because they were racist. They became racist because they used slave labour to earn super profits in America and developed an attitude towards black people that justifies such exploitation, economics, human gluttony. It's the engine of the slave system. For four centuries, at least 11 million Africans were transported to the New World through the Atlantic Ocean treated as beasts in shackles in the holds, in cramped and stuffy conditions. At least two million died on this hellish path called the Middle Route. There is a well-founded opinion that a racial myth exists solely to justify the possibility of one group of individuals to dominate another. And thanks to this technique, people can continue to oppress even the best representatives of these communities. White America as victors still controls the history of racial clashes. It's as if we live in an intellectually occupied world, and while white Americans retains power and maintains the myth of moral superiority, history will never be made public and will not enter our national consciousness. Despite many years of struggle against racism, it continues to pollute the intellectual sphere Due to the persistence of this idea, people are deprived of benefits, justice and human rights. The main institutions of society are racially monolithic and racial bias has nowhere to go. For five centuries, racism has been an excuse for killings, executions and genocide. The doctrine of the dominance of white people, humiliated and deprived of human dignity, is the entire population of people of colour on the entire planet. Racism was the main driving force in the annihilation of the white continents, the destruction of civilizations, and extermination of peoples. The legacy of enslavement and imperial ambitions created radical differences between the peoples of the West and everyone else. From the point of view of science, racial differences are not significant, but racism continues to determine the fate of individuals and the peoples around the world. Hello friends, if you loved it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. There you go, it's that simple. You can also find me on my socials. Instagram is where you're gonna see me basically every day posting something and it's Tash underscore Archeo. I'm also using Behind the Trowel. See you soon friends, bye.